How it works. ISU's steam turbines. The turbine casing is used to hold all the pieces in place and provide a container for the steam as it moves through the turbine. The labyrinth packing is a set of seals used to limit the amount of steam that escapes from around the drive shaft, thereby increasing the efficiency of the turbine. The diaphragms are stationary blades that direct the steam flow such that all of the rotating blades are pushed in the same direction. The drive shaft and rotating blades are the key components of the turbine. They convert the kinetic energy of the steam into rotational energy, which can be used to generate electricity. The bearings keep the drive shaft and rotating blades securely in place within the turbine casing. In addition, they minimize friction, allowing the turbine blades to rotate easily. The steam chest assembly is composed of the steam inlet, governor valves, and steam inlet valves. The steam inlet brings steam to the steam chest from the boiler. The governor valves regulate the seven steam inlet valves that move steam into the turbine. The steam extraction valves regulate how much steam is sent to the campus or sent back to the second set of turbine blades. The steam exhaust removes the used steam from the turbine and it directs it to the condenser. Steam enters into the steam chest from the steam inlet at around 400 pounds per square inch and 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Within the steam chest are seven steam inlet valves that are regulated by governor valves. The governor valves and the steam inlet valves control how much steam is let into the turbine. Once the steam enters the turbine, it passes through the first blade and is redirected by the adjacent diaphragm to the next blade until it has run through the first section of the turbine. After the steam has passed through the first section of the turbine, some of the steam is removed from the turbine at 90 pounds per square inch and 500 degrees Fahrenheit through the steam extraction valves. This steam is then used to heat university buildings or power university chillers, which air condition the buildings on campus. The remaining steam that has not been extracted is moved on to the second section of the turbine. The same process that occurs in the first set of blades is repeated here. The only difference is the blades are larger and the pressure is lower. After the steam passes over both sections of the turbine, it is exhausted and sent to the steam condenser. Within the condenser, the steam is cooled to a liquid and then sent to the boiler, where it is once again heated to 700 degrees Fahrenheit and 400 pounds per square inch. This new steam goes through the entire process all over again and again and again. The blades rotate at 3600 rotations per minute, thereby converting the kinetic energy of the steam into rotational energy, which is then used to generate electricity for Iowa State. Steam turbines are used for nearly all electrical power plants, including coal, natural gas, high-grade geothermal, and nuclear. They are also used to power compressors, pumps, and other mechanical equipment.